Hi there, I'm Talha and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a crypto portfolio tracker using Google Sheets. As a crypto investor or a hobbyist, you need a tool to help you keep track of your crypto investments. You can use Google Sheets to create a crypto portfolio tracker that is accurate and very easy to use. So, here's how to create one with price updates from CoinMarketCap. So, right here we have a sample portfolio with four different currencies. We need to in enter our essential information that we have on hand, such as the currency identifier, buying price and the investment we made in USD. We'll determine the rest of the values using formulas, such as a formula for holding, a formula for current price, a formula for present value and a formula for profit and loss. So let's enter our currency identifier. Now our currency identifier is going to be different depending on our price source. Since we're using coin market cap in this case, our currency identifier will be the URL slug on our main currency page. In this case, it is Bitcoin in all small cases for Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and enter Bitcoin in small case. Ethereum in small case for Ethereum. USD hyphen coin and Cardano in all small case for Cardano. And let's enter our investment in USD. Let's just say we invested $1,000 in Bitcoin, 500 in Ethereum, 500 in USD coin, and 500 in Cardano. And for our buying price, let's just take uh, a sample buying price from the internet and paste it here. So it is 23,350 for Bitcoin and 1830 for Ethereum, a dollar for USD coin and 0 0.5345 for Cardano. So let's start using formulas to determine the rest of the values. Let's use the divide formula to divide our investment into our buying price to determine our holding. Let's go and enter equals divide. Let's use a substitute formula to ignore the dollar sign in our buying price. So we'll enter C3 substitute C uh, sorry E3 and then enter dollar sign in quotes substituted by a blank space in quotes close the bracket and press enter let's take the suggested autofill and that's and there we have it that's the holding for each coin now let's determine our current price we're going to use a combination of the import HTML and concatenate formula. So let's go ahead and enter if formula first equals if bracket is blank B3, that is our currency identifier, comma, a blank space in quotes, comma, index bracket import HTML, bracket, Let's concatenate 
use the concatenate formula bracket let's enter our URL in quotes comma the URL slug let's enter it here and close the bracket Oh, we forgot to add a few other syntax uh, related values. Let's remove the blank space here and add a table with the corresponding values. Table in quotes, comma 1, and then com Outside of the bracket, we're going to add 1, comma 2, and then press Enter. And there we have it, the current price for Bitcoin. Let's bring the formula down. And there we have it, the current price for all of the currencies have shown up. Let's use the multiply formula to determine our present value by multiplying our current price by our holding equals multiply let's use the substitute formula to ignore the dollar sign in our current price substitute similarly to the previous function we're going to use dollar sign in quotes comma a blank space in quotes close the bracket comma multiply by our holding d3 and close the bracket press enter and take the suggested autofill and there we have it the present value of our holding and finally, for our profit and loss section, we're just going to subtract our investment from our present value. So, let's enter equals minus G3, C3. Let's close the bracket and press enter. Take the suggested autofill. And there we have it. The profit or loss from each currency. And that's about it. That's how you create a crypto portfolio tracker using Google Sheets. This crypto portfolio tracker is much simpler to use as opposed to other trackers that would use perhaps a Google Apps script or the Google Finance formula, which is not ideal since it only contains two currencies. So uh, let's try and add a new currency Let's say we invested in Litecoin and let's enter the URL slug which is Litecoin in small case. Let's say we invested $500 and our buying price was $60. Let's enter 60 and then let's just bring all the other formulas down. Let's bring the current price down, the holding, and then our present value, and then our profit and loss. And that's how simple it is to enter a new currency uh, I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like and subscribe.